My name is Eric Griffin with ITM Trading, a gold and silver precious metals brokerage firm in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'll be talking about buying rare gold coins. Uh, buying rare gold coins, it is a process and you want to take great care in doing such. Uh, first, it's, it's very important that you sit down with an account executive, whether that's face to face or via the telephone, go over what your goals and objectives are because each rare coin can do something different in your portfolio. So you want to make sure you're getting the right tool for the right job. And I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, typically why people buy rare gold coins, they want a way to protect their assets um, against many different things. Banking crisis, stock collapses, dollar collapses, uh, government failures. Um, but sort of the benefits that rare gold coins provide that are unique are and let me first say, these are some rare gold coins right here. This is a uh, $20 Liberty coin. This is a $20 St. Gaudens coin. Uh, minted prior to 1933. That's typically your, your cutoff. Most U.S. rare gold coins are minted prior to 1933. Um, but some of the benefits are they are non-reportable. So it's a private transaction on both the buy and the sell side. There are no reporting forms with this type of gold whatsoever. Uh, they are also considered to be non-confiscatable. Uh, there have been confiscations of bullion in the past. The most recent was in 1933 under Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Uh, all U.S. citizens were required to turn in their gold. And then gold bullion was illegal to own from 1933 to 1974. It was still legal to own numismatic gold coins um, because they were protected in that executive order from confiscation. Uh, the term used was... Uh, special value to or rare and unusual to collectors so but you don't have to be a collector to acquire rare gold coins uh, don't get confused by that uh, there is what I call a sweet spot in buying rare gold coins all gold coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70 70 being perfect condition it's called the Sheldon scale typically where you get the performance in the rare gold category. If you check out PCGS.com, they provide charts on how numismatic gold has performed over the years. But if you look at their mint state rare numismatic gold chart, you'll find that it states basically about four to one performance over gold bullion uh, over the last 40 years. So typically people are looking for growth in their portfolio in the precious metals arena, they're adding rare gold coins to it in the mint state category, typically anywhere from a 62 to a 66 grade. Uh, very important that you buy from a broker dealer, one that's been in business for a long time, that has a good reputation um, because there are counterfeits out there. You want to make sure that you're getting the real thing because they can be expensive. You know, coins range anywhere on the low end of the grading scale from, you know, $1,500 all the way up into the multiple thousands. In fact, uh, we do know of a coin. It was minted in 1933, one of 10 known to exist. It was a $20 St. Gaudens that sold for $7.5 million. So the, the values really do range. So you want to make sure you're getting the real deal. And the great thing about graded rare coins is they come encapsulated in these plastic containers, this one being from NGC, this one being from PCGS. These companies guarantee the authenticity of the coin and the quality. So you want to make sure that you're buying coins that are graded and slabbed. Uh, it also protects them from any damage. Uh, so very important. But if you buy from a broker dealer, somebody who's reputable, you're getting the real thing. It's very important. Um, if you'd like more information on buying rare gold coins, give us a call at one triple eight own gold. You can also click on the free gold information kit link and uh, fill out your information. We'll send you a free gold information kit packet, uh, no strings attached. So thank you for visiting our channel.